Now, let me ask a question about your first record deal. I'm going to put it very simple, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. You got your first record deal because you were Peter Gabriel's daughter's babysitter. No. <laughs> wrong. Close. <laughs> Next question. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not that far. I was... I was I, I, <laughs> no, it's all right. I'm always having It was my summary. <laughs> that was a good one. I was recording at um, Real World when Peter was rehearsing for his growing up tour, mm -hmm. of which Melanie, his daughter, yes. I'm sure, who you know, yeah, oh yeah. Has, was doing her first tour with him. Yeah. And uh, she'd just moved to London uh, into an apartment near me and she didn't really know anyone. So I, inv I started inviting her out to, you know, to, to gigs and stuff like that to meet people. We became really good friends and then she invited me on holiday with um, Peter and their family to so got to know Sabina. them. Yeah, exactly, Capani. So I got to know Peter then and then a couple of months after that, Mel told me one day that, that Peter was uh, coming to um, receive an award in London for like, you know, Musician of the Decade Award, I think it was, and and, um, and he didn't. They couldn't find a babysitter, so I said, okay. So when he got me involved with his record label, it was it was it was very much like he he first phoned me and said, would you mind if I played your music to my record label and see if they're interested? And actually, the record label themselves weren't interested for the first well. two years. <laughs> so so it was, it was only publishing. It was only publishing that picked up yeah. on it. So but it, but it was a very organic process and it, and it really worked. I'm sorry to interrupt, yes. but we need Charlie on stage okay. to check all this stuff, and we could, you know, follow that because it's no very interesting, and, and you know, and I can waffle for a day. Cry. 
Merci. Ben Henry, on a vraiment le cas. Try to have it on, on this uh, show together, like, uh, jam at the end. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you met the Speed Event Paul. We sing at the beginning the Nouvelle Vague. So, like few members of each band is tr trying to make one song all together. If you want to be part of it, it would be. Yeah. In kompletter Besetzung kommen Madness nächste Woche zu One Shot Not. Charlie Winston hatte sich dennoch nicht nehmen lassen, heute schon mal die Bläser des Car Cult Band einzuladen. And the second one is oh, okay. ah, no. ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to just try that again? Yeah. One, two, three. We all get a bucket at the end, at the end. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. 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 Same groove? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're trying. We'll try from the top. Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Some people swear, they say they know where. For me, it's a mystery. But whichever way you see it, you have to admit it and live it and live it. We all get the bucket in the end, the end. Hey! Ah, all the girls get the bucket in the end, the end. Yeah. Ah, and the boys get the bucket in the end, the end. Yeah. Ah, yeah, we all get the bucket in the end, the end, the end. Blew up my TV. It was numb in my brain. Been thinking the same as a million at the people. All feeling afraid of the same thing. But there's nothing to lose. Cause you roll on the bike and you're safe. And you're getting up on your injuries. But you gotta get back on it and live it and live it to love it. And one, two, three, cause we all get the bucket. Thank you very much.